Hi, this is Vigita Simonsen. How much protein do you really need per day and how do vegans get their protein? That must be the most common question that a vegan is being asked by his non-vegan friends. But let's look at it. Let's look at how much protein you really need. I found a, a study here, an article from Howard Health Education. And um, yeah, they say that we need 0.8 grams of protein per kilograms of body weight or uh, 0.36 grams per pound. So I made a little calculation here how much that is. Um, if you weigh 60 kilos and you need 0.8 grams of protein per kilo, that's in 48 grams of protein daily. And if you weigh 90 kilos, that's then 72 grams of protein daily. And if we cal um, calculate it in pounds and ounces, then it is uh, 1.7 ounce uh, of protein per day. Not per pound, but per day. And um, two, if you weigh 200 pounds, it's 2.5 ounces. And uh, a lot of people mistake uh, protein. They think the more the better, but that is not, tr not the truth. That is not the case. Um, too much protein is uh, actually very harmful for the body. Uh, it puts a lot of strain on it because it's hard for the body to uh, convert it into energy. And when you get too much, uh, what should the body do with it? Protein is to build our, our body, our muscles and um, and, and uh, tendons and everything like that that's uh, built from protein or it's actually amino acids. And if you get too much, then uh, the only way the body can get rid of it is to uh, transfer it or, or convert it into energy so we can burn it or um, convert it into uh, fat so it can be stored in the body. And that is a very uh, difficult process for the body. Um, and uh, too much protein can actually destroy your, your kidneys. So if you have um, kidney problems, if you have uh, bad kidneys, uh, the doctor will also tell you that you shouldn't eat too much protein. Um, and wh where do protein really come from when you think about it? Uh, protein actually, like all other food, everything comes from uh, the plants. Oh, it actually comes from the earth. Uh, it's molecules uh, that is put together uh, into amino acids. Protein is actually amino acids. And uh, then uh, plants pick it up from the dirt. And uh, then some animals or people eat the plants eat with the amino acids in it. And then they get all the amino acids and they use it, uh, convert it into protein. And we don't need the middleman as the, or the, the animal as the middleman because it's actually much better and healthier for our body to get the, the proteins or the amino acids directly from the plants. And, and another thing is we get so many uh, uh, different things from, uh, from the meat also that is unhealthy like fat, cholesterol, um, growth hormone. Uh, antibiotics, um, meat causes a lot of uh, health issues, issues like heart disease, Alzheimer, uh, um, cancer, um, all the lifestyle diseases, diabetes. Uh, there's lots of studies showing that. Um, but can you get enough protein from uh, plants? I found some charts here. I want to show you. Actually, plants, like I said, they contain protein. So here, for instance, this is a spinach. A cup of spinach contains five grams of protein. And the edamame uh, contains a cup of edamame contains 17 grams. Uh, some plants are, have more protein than others. Uh, things like beans and uh, nuts and seeds, they contain a lot of protein. But all plants, even fruits, they contain some level of protein. Kale here, five, or oh, let's say three grams, it's a little unclear. 
Um, all, th all this is uh, per cup of the uh, vegetable. Uh, a cup of corn uh, contains 4.6 grams. Um, peas, one cup of peas contains 9 grams. Um, avocado contains 4 grams. And a veggie burger, one patty contains uh, 13 grams. Sweet potatoes, 2.5. 3 grams, I think. I found another chart here also. Um, here it is uh, lime beans, lima beans. Um, 11.6 grams per cup. Um, and soybean sprouts, 9.2 grams. They contain a lot of protein. Um, it goes down here, uh, a cup of mushroom, 3.9 grams, and so on. And like I said, also food contain it, contain protein. Here's uh, some of the, high, the fruits with the most protein, like guava, uh, 2.5 grams per 100 gram. This is uh, avocado, 2 grams per 100 grams, apricot, 1.4 grams per 100 grams, Bananas, uh, 1.1 gram per 100 grams. And the thing is, when we eat vegetables, we eat much larger amounts than if you eat uh, processed food and meat and so. So uh, to get uh, your protein intake covered is easy. Actually, I did, um, I made a, um, a meal plan and uh, I made it as for a vegetarian person and it was so easy because as long as you cover your um, calorie intake with vegetables and fruits and everything then automatically without uh, adjusting anything then your protein intake is optimal so as long as you eat enough calories then you get the protein intake um, optimal also when it's on a vegan diet and that is because uh, human beings are actually um, meant to be uh, herbivores. We are, uh, our body is um, herbivore, but uh, somehow people think that we are omnivores, or some even think that we are carnivores. But we, our body is built to be a herbivore. We have all the traits of a herbivore with the teeth and our stomach system, intestinal system is built to be a herbivore. Herbivore, which is also why we get sick when we eat too much meat or processed food because that is not uh, what we are what our body is designed to uh, process so yeah i i hope it helps if you have any questions please comment below and don't forget to like follow and subscribe please share it with your friends and click that little notification bell if you're on youtube that way you get you get notified every time we upload a new video Take care. Bye.